welcome to Sammy C. Press. Today, we will not be diving back into something more than Shakespeare Poetry Workbook. Why? Because we've reached the conclusion of our time together. I wanted to take this time to thank you for spending it with me on this journey. I hope it has been one that you have enjoyed. I have two short poems I have written that I want to share. I thought it would really sum up the importance of poetry. Remember, poets can inspire us, and in turn, we can inspire others. Continuing the beautiful ripple effect that has happened throughout time, and that is continuing to take place. You get to share in its effects, as well as cause effects of your own. Poets of the past found their own unique voice, and they were not afraid to be different, to break the rules in writing, and to create something new, unique, and extraordinary. Have endurance. Remember, Langston Hughes faced much criticism. Robert Frost was refused to even be published, and William Wordsworth was considered ordinary. It is in contrast with how those poets are viewed today. The first poem I want to share is entitled, Write. You have a story, one you must tell. Let it out of you. Don't hold back. For there's no greater pain than a story untold, one internally held. Paint your picture with the power of pen. Use your words. Don't hold it in. Don't worry about what others may say. Write for you. Get it out and get it away. Freedom will come with the release. From suppression's chains, you must write your story or your hurt will forever remain. Remember when I said that Maya Angelou had one of my favorite quotes? Well, that very quote is what inspired that poem, as well as what inspired me to start writing. And I am forever grateful to her. The second poem that I want to include is called The Last Poem. I write for me. I write for you. We can each learn from the experiences we go through. Realizing as we read, we are never alone. Difficulties we each have seen. Hurtful acts we cannot condone. Gaining insights as we share. Helping each other our burden bear. As I write for me, I write for you. Hoping to have done my part. To gently lift your lonely heart. Dear reader, remember. As you read my words, you are precious. And you are never alone. Remember the quote from Langston Hughes that we read earlier? The one that read, My best poems were all written when I felt the worst. When I was happy, I didn't write a thing. We can all be lifted up by the power of Langston's words. We are not alone in our struggles or in our pain. When we write and share, we can inspire and encourage others, including ourselves. I hope you have enjoyed our time together as we looked at a few examples from the Something More Than Shakespeare Poetry Workbook. Remember, there are 31 different poets in the workbook that we did not discuss. One such as Robert Louis Stevenson, T.S. Eliot, Thomas Hardy, Robert Burns, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Christina Rossetti, Jane Austen, and many more. And the book also includes resources like types of poetry glossary, a glossary of poetic terms, the lowdown on rhyme, a meter and patterns quick reference key. This workbook was designed to help readers to be able to be well-rounded literary scholars where poetry is concerned. It's designed in a way not to be boring or overly complex or dull. 99% of my students have learned that they do, in fact, like or even love poetry, even beginning to write poetry of their own. The only reason I say 99% is because one of my students, who did not like poetry, although some of his poems are, in fact, in this very book, my friend, that is irony. I do not want people to miss out on the gift that poetry truly is by being turned away from it the way it's described or the way that it's taught to them. Poetry has the ability to soothe the heart and the mind, to help us to express emotions that are hard to express or even access or understand. We can find poets that we can relate to 
and that seemed to be speaking directly to us through their words, even though they were written so long ago. Remember, it only takes a spark to ignite the heart with a love of poetry. I hope that somewhere in these videos or in the workbook, I have been able to direct you towards the spark you need to ignite your heart. Until next time.